I'm Derek Witt with the Data Science and Integration Group within PPQ Field Operations. Today, I'm going to demonstrate a Power BI dashboard that allows you to view and export data from the APHIS GIS portal. The APHIS GIS portal is where PPQ collects much of its electronic data. However, it can often be difficult to export the data out of the GIS portal due to licensing issues and or issues related to the data being collected in separate tables. This dashboard is meant to be an easy to access and easy to use tool for anyone who needs to to export their data from the GIS portal. The data in this dashboard is updated once daily, generally at midnight Eastern time, so it should never be more than 24 hours out of date. I'll dive into the details here in a second, but before I get into that, what I'd like to show you is how to access this. There are many different ways you can get to this link. If you're watching this video, you've likely been emailed this link at some point. But the main housing for these Power BI reports is on what's called the MRP report server. We don't expect you to understand or uh, how to get to that. So what we've done in order to make it easier to access is we've put them on the DART DDII or Domestic Data Improvement Initiative website. And so this is a SharePoint based website that has a lot of information related to domestic programs. But in this case, we're gonna be interested in the QC dashboards folder. Anyone watching this should have access to it. And the view I'm giving you is actually for demo purposes only, but you'll see many more dashboards added to this folder over time. You can bookmark this link once you've come to it one time. And again, this communication on this link will be sent out to you at some point if it hasn't been already. When you're in this folder, you'll be able to just launch a dashboard in Power BI based on the URLs that we've embedded in here. So for ease of the demo, I've already launched it. But what we're looking at here, in Power BI, we often use these tabs along the bottom to separate, say, programs or years of data. And so you'll use the ones that are applicable to your service area and the programs that you collect data for. Before I dive into those, I'll quickly show you where you can find this dashboard. Within the DDII SharePoint page, which everyone should have access to, there's a QC dashboards folder. Within this dashboards folder, which the one I'm showing here is for demonstration purposes only, there will be a handful of different links to different dashboards that allow you to quickly launch them in your browser. Once launched, you can bookmark them for ease of use to get back to. And that's what I've done with this portal data viewer and exporter. So let's go ahead and dive in. Let's say you're collecting EGM data for 2022. You can go to the first tab here in the spreadsheet where you'll be met with all the data coming in via field maps for this year. Most often, you're only responsible for a state, maybe a, a group of states, or maybe even a small area within states. And so a common feature of Power BI dashboards is the ability to drill down into different filters. So in this case, you can drill not only to the state level, but counties as well. So for demonstration purposes, we'll use Iowa. I've selected Iowa and you'll notice that the dashboard has instantaneously filtered to not only the map showing the points that we're interested in, but also the table. You may only be interested in say what's happened in your area in the last week or two. So in this case, maybe we'll filter to the last seven days seven or eight days. And so in this case, you can see by limiting it, most of the activity has happened in that window, but you can see that th there was some minor filtering that happened with the, the date filter. Now, when data might be flagged for a QC error, you'll see different QC flags pop up in here. That could be like a missing removal activity, duplicate activities, things like that. But in this case, there's none of that. So let's say you're in here just looking at this data for maybe your own planning purposes, or you're reviewing it to see what needs to be done the following week, or what was done the preceding week, things like that. The real power of these Power BI dashboards is that using this small box in the upper right-hand corner of the table that says more options, we can export the data to Excel. So by clicking that, you'll see a dialog pop up where we can almost instantaneously save this data and have it open within seconds in Excel. The way Power BI exports data, it'll always put a, a couple of rows up here that'll tell you how you filtered the data. I recommend once you, again, are aware, just to make sure that you filtered it correctly, you can delete those rows and then manipulate this spreadsheet, whatever works best for your needs. Back 
to the dashboard. Let's say you've exported the data, but you realized either you made a filtering mistake or you want to drill down into another area or group of counties, something like that. Often the easiest way to reset all the filters in these dashboards is just to quickly refresh your browser. That'll give you a completely blank slate and it'll set you back on the kind of splash screen here, but you'll be able to go right back and kind of start from fresh. Now we encourage you to use this for any program that you're collecting data for. We're adding more all the time. And again, as they come in from the GIS portal, they get updated every night, and then you should always see basically through the previous day's data in here. If you're looking to export data that is not joined, we can provide services to help you get that data. But in most cases, you'll find that uh, for use of looking at the data, the fact that we've joined the sites to the activities allows you to much easier kind of see how many activities are done at a site, you know, which ones are missing, things like that. Because anytime you have a site that doesn't have any corresponding activities, as you scroll through the table, you'll notice that once you get to the activity columns, which are, which are always by default on the right of the table, they'll be blank or null. And as you add more activities throughout the season, you'll start to see these fill in. And that can be a really telltale sign where if at the end of the season, you still have a site that has null activity records, you may wanna go back and check that one. So I hope that this has helped show you how we provided an easy to access interface for exporting portal data. As always, you can email us if you have any questions or issues accessing this particular dashboard. Thank you.